Hello and welcome, Cosmic Quantum Travelers. I hope you're doing good. So the intensity forecast of intense has proven correctly, I would say. Um, there is about, a, it's all about to change for good um, in every way. Our world is about to change and shift. That's all I see. Um, it's here now, it's about to unfold. It's like, be ready. The fireworks are on. <laughs> I just heard the sound here. Um, in more ways than one. So, but we came to make our biggest, wildest dreams a reality, literally in every way, shape and form, because we are the active change makers who make this all possible. So I'm especially transmitting for the original tribes, Grey Lines, Magic Grey Queens and Kings, Cosmic Dragons. And again, we're all part of this, really. Anyone who would, you know, really resonate with what I'm saying, and not just hate on me. So, as I've spoken before, the original Twin Flames counterparts that make up the original race of creation. So they hold the original divine blueprints for creation is, as I've shared before, really what brings all of this home, as I've been shown. And because they are genetic equals, they hold divine blueprints on behalf of creation, on behalf of the cosmic Christ, on behalf of the whole cosmos, really, for all races. Um, because they have originally seeded, created all of creation. But again, we're all part of this. These are not just one beings, you know what I mean? When we speak about these consciousnesses, um, it's consciousness fields, really. And again, we're all part of this because we all come from the same source. And this is so important to remember right now, obviously, as we know, to transcend all sense of separation, which is part of the divine union process, which is for me what ascension is all about. And this happens from within the oneness. So divine union first happens from within you and then out there, no matter whether you're with your twin flame or divine counterpart or not. It's happening from within the oneness. It's a cosmic divine reunion process event the supernova of the heart event, like this is our hearts, like the cosmic Christ seed or permanent seed atom within your high heart the, in your thymus. It's literally cracking wide open, blasting wide open. The last spark has been fully lit. And this is very much down to the, as I'm seeing it, the divine twin flames, original counterparts. And again, we're all part of this because we're all influencing one another in the quantum and none of this is set. So yeah, we can always speak about greatest, biggest possibilities. And ultimately, yes, it's all about destiny, but we also need to make it happen. So this doesn't just happen by us the same, you know, as me, as I've been shown, this whole divine organic creatrix field of merging all realities, realms, dimensions, as one, universes, was shown to me about three years ago. And again, then it's not just us or us just knowing ascension is going to happen and then just sitting back and just watching. It's not how we make this happen. We are being shown these things in order to make them happen. That's what I really try and transmit. And thank you again for the ones who've been uh, part of the group call on the eclipse. That was awesome. I had some great feedback. And again, there is no magic pill. There is no one activation course. Anything, I believe, we can take to follow that will promise assure us ascension it's a whole long process and it's very personal it's very unique but yes i do believe and i know if you do really follow what i speak about to a good degree and my activations and my work really help you clear heal balance harmonize activate the new divine blueprint of the cosmic christ the androgynous hierogamic reunion blueprint because I literally carry that like this is what I'm here for to help activate this within your blueprint within the planet and cosmically so 
Because again, the original twin flames, of which I am part of, have created all of this. And I am here to bring them back together, so to say, what is already happening in the multidimensional playing field. Because we have returned to the dream field. So again, thank you so much for all those who are supporting me in a real tangible way and are also taking part in the calls. And again, it's not just that, but also like, share, subscribe, comment, anything, everything. Um, you know, sending me good vibes, vibes, all of that stuff. It all helps. You know what I mean? Everything we do, think, say, feel, all contribute to that. And we need to be very super conscious. So if you still want to take part, so there's a lot still unfolding. And we're not waiting for any time period to pass happen anything at all no calls activations as such it's again it's a whole cosmic happening it's all about everything quantum completing in it's now so anyway those who still want to take part the details are below in the description box it's a very active field especially until the 31st if we're still looking at these funny screens by then i hope not I'm really tired of this land view. Let's bring this to completion. Kunasa aina tikira tukuna aina tukuna shamata. Because we are hold the power. So remember what you came here for in order to complete your hero's journey, literally. So um so there's still a lot unfold unfolding. If we're still there by the 31st, Halloween, Shanhain, and I'm probably again murdering that word. Um so the original meaning of Halloween. And please have the best intention for that day. Okay, this is where the veil between dimensions is the thinnest. So we're utilizing this in order to break all the way through, which is now. All I see is we literally just need to sort of, not really, but you know, the general mood is sitting back and just seeing the veil fully dissolve, the last one, to reveal new earth. For everything is about to shift. That's all I think. Ena shakarata. So if you want to tune in, pick up some of those codes. Um, again, no one activation call is going to do it for you, but it will really, if you let it in. Um, I know, like I had great feedback again, and I do generally from the people who really get it, find that it really helps them, you know, on their journey. And again, it's still a difficult journey. <laughs> Nobody can take that part away, but that's what ascension is all about. But again, people, you know, who, again, as the forerunners, what we do is we anchor these energies first, come up with how to navigate through it more easily, share best practices, navigational tips, instruction sets. And again, this is literally what I'm here for. The instruction sets are how to organize your DNA, your consciousness, how to view things differently, which is literally realigning your blueprint with truth. And again, you need to feel what truth is. We need to still, you know, contemplate whatever I'm sharing. But you feel truth. You really, really feel truth. And what's happening right now is like the truth that is everlasting is fully rising from inside of us, from within the crystal caverns, our hearts. And the original twin flames, it's like the divine masculines. Again, these are energies and principles, but they may play out as well within, you know, those genders and within relationships are really here to correct what went wrong. And it's really the mind principle, like really fully breaking through now. This is full and final quantum breakthrough leap, jump into all new realities where you leave the ego fully behind. Nobody cares who's right or wrong here. All that we care about is the truth, to return the truth, no matter what it takes. Never mind the fucking ego who wants to be right. Nobody cares. I don't care to be right or wrong. All I care about is really transmitting the truth. And that's why I keep emptying myself. And I don't care if the truth means something, you know, that might be uncomfortable for me. So to, you know, we learn from mistakes. Most of what I transmit is like, I, I mean, so much I can share with people is all about me having made mistakes in the past, having learned from them. And now I can share my findings in this crazy roller coaster. Like one of the things is for example that keeps coming up is, is for example anger okay and i shared actually a quick video on my what's that storyline 
on Instagram and Facebook. From the holistic psychologist on anger, like a somatic um, way of dealing with it. So it's kind of reimagining the event and just kind of like, just kind of releasing the tension in your body. It's energy. Especially when we're on the ascension journey, it's like these are, if somebody, something in your re in your uh, reality is making you feel angry, it's like there's a reason for it. You, you should not tell yourself not to be angry. And the whole thing is, okay, that most of us have been told not to be angry as children. We've been shamed for being angry. It was not deemed to be okay. And I've so many times in my life, my whole life, yeah, maybe I had anger issues, but I don't have them anymore. Because I've really learned from, first of all, I learned why I was even angry. I learned to have a whole lot, a whole lot of compassion for myself. And then finally, I then removed the reasons why I would even get angry out of my life. And so now there's literally nothing to be angry about anymore. Also, as you keep shifting your perspective, but you only get there, as I find, again, take what resonates, leave the rest, best practices, being an expert in this, literally. It's like, understand why you're angry. And then, then you can change your life, literally. If you tell yourself you shouldn't be angry, and that's the issue. So as children, we've been told not to be angry. You can apply this to any really, you know, many negative emotions. You know the same as don't be a cry baby or pull yourself together and don't be so emotional. Are you too sensitive for the world? And all of this bullshit we've been fed from people who've been highly dysfunctional themselves, meaning the best, that's the whole thing. I understand people mean the best, but it comes from the unconscious, not understanding. Because most of the time, like I've been told a few times that I have anger issues. It's usually all like, why are you so angry? It would be from the people who really did a lot of stupid things to make me feel angry with them. And then it's like, why are you so angry? And it's actually, and they know deep down, but unconsciously, what they're doing Yes, of course, of course, it would make you angry. They're actually angry with themselves. You're clearing anger energetically from the field. I have done this a lot my whole life until I understood what's really going on. Then I pick up on the anger from people around me. And this is also what happens a lot within the twin flames or between the twin flames. When, for example, and this is not down to gender, the masculine um is not owning his own anger or his own accountability responsibility for why the feminine is maybe angry with him because of what he's doing or not doing. It's like he projects it back at her. That's the whole gaslighting dynamic. Okay, of like, it's like, you know, all the narcissistic role play. Um, and basically doing a lot of stupid stuff or not that influences the other person to make them feel angry. And then they shame them for it. But it's actually their own anger, their own shame and guilt that they're not acknowledging that the other person is processing for them. I mean, I've so often in my life like come across this because I'm just energetically clearing everything, especially when I come you know, into physical contact with people, the energy fields. You just clear stuff for what people are suppressing. And then they blame you for it. So now we're at a point where we're no longer going to be triggered. We're no longer going to be gaslit. It's If anybody does that to us ever again, it's like you feel your anger. You're like, you understand why they're doing it. Okay, maybe the person even means the best. Because again, all the spiritual programming also has told us next to our upbringing to not be angry to be happy, to like meditate on it, to wish it all away. That's what I have an issue with the whole yogic path a little bit, because it's like, there's a lot of suppression going on there, along with so much in spirituality. Seriously, it's, it's a disease. That's a disease. You know how we get rid of anger? When we, again, anger is telling you something is up. When people piss all over your boundaries, take advantage of you, you know, I mean, there's so many reasons. And you need to adhere to that anger because it's telling you there's something off. Then you make adjustments. And that's how you get rid of the anger and make yourself happy. You remove, you remove the cause for the anger. You're not fighting the sy symptom. And I can't say this enough. Stop fighting the symptoms of this insane reality. Go to the root cause. 
really excavate it, bring it up and out. And yeah, you don't want to throw anger onto the walls of your hologram and add people. You know, and I used to get angry and, you know, negatively affect people. And I've learned again to release it in healthier ways. But I feel it. I bring it up and out. I make adjustments as best as I can. Keep fine-tuning. And these days, I don't really feel angry anymore. And also because I shift my way of even, you know, it's like, again, I know why what's even happening. And then I'm just in alignment with truth. And then there's nothing to be angry anymore about. But again, it's 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 also sacred fuel, anger, for example, to make big shifts in your reality. If you tell yourself you shouldn't be angry, you're never going to get there. And the anger and all of that stuff is literally your access, your shadow self. That's like people who have issues, like because people would even say usually that people have anger issues. It's usually the ones who actually have them themselves because they're suppressing their own anger. And then I project it at the other person who's actually just clearing that stuff. And again, usually that person would say that would have done something to make that other person angry in the first place. Okay. So we need to stop this shit. Seriously, we need to stop this. Everybody needs to own their shit. Okay. Nobody cares. Only the ego cares of who's right or wrong and even saying sorry or whatever. Nobody cares even about saying sorry. It's all about like, let's just change. Yeah. And start all over again because that's where we're at. But we need to all see the truth. You need to align your blueprint with truth. If you want to live in the lies of the ego just to keep your ego happy, you are like, you keep feeding the matrix. You need to let it all collapse right now. The masculine needs to fully rise. All I can see, the only choice is literally, okay? Because this is how this all ends. It's for the masculines, especially the original counterparts, twin flames, to fully rise in truth, make it all correct everything that went wrong, to fully ignite this cosmic quantum tree of life, the new divine blueprint, the hierogamic blueprint that the twin flames came to put together, which is what ignites the new divine organic creatrix field. Because they carry the codes, the blueprints for creation, literally. And as they unite and dissolve all illusions of separation, fully align with the real truth, because what they also carry is, it's they carry literally the cosmic history records as they come together. And the masculine very much carries the key to the feminine heart to fully open it. Now, all you really need to do is fully surrender to source and just leave your ego behind already and let's dissolve the matrix. I mean, isn't this what we came here for? Nobody has time for this shit anymore. Like there is no more uh, because the feminine needs to fully rise. She needs to fully again within us all, and delete any victim-victimizer programming, any neediness, any not-enoughness, any needing anyone to validate you, tell you that you're right, you, you know your truth, and you never again are going to let anyone piss all over your truth and invert it on you. That's how you keep your blueprint pristine and clear. As you Purify your heart, go deeper and deeper within. You understand that ultimately we have been dreaming up all of this. This is what the call and activation was all about. Returning back to the dream field where we have been dreaming all of this up and we are about to awaken. It's going to be beautiful. But we have to push all the way through. We have to make this happen because everything are just possibilities, probabilities until they fully collapse in through us making also action. So I think I didn't finish that earlier. If we're here still on Halloween 31st, which is now kind of already tomorrow, uh, we do a group call for my group container. Okay, I post the details. Um, and you'll see them on the Kofi website or and as a notification email. I post them on the 30th, like during the day. So... And it will all be about anchoring our future self, fully activating it. What are you doing now on your earth? Fully merge with that. Everything. There's nothing to hold on to anymore but a dream and illusions. Fully break free. Like the original Twin Flames counterparts, the men especially, the masculines, need to fully break out of any social conditioning, pressure, any 
programming like what's hugely clearing right now is the soul trauma based mind control programming and it exists within spirituality even more like that, that that's the one issue with ascension mechanics it's literally another layer of like mind control programming then on the other end of the spectrum we have the love and light community which is just totally denying that there's any like kind of you know negative factions that are playing each other off against one another as they have done for many eons. So the original twin flames, counterparts, heal, seal, the cosmic Christ shield, the shield of the planet, of the cosmic Christ, the morphogenetic field, they are healed as fully. As they heal, the original split of the masculine and feminine as they bring all into coherence and agree on the one truth, there's only one highest truth here. The cosmic history records is what they're here to return, the real truth. This, this is what's held in our blueprints. And it's fully being lit. As our hearts are being fully lit, the crystal core, crystal currents, it's all here. It's like we're just clearing out the last remaining debris. It's like all any remaining interference patterns are being fully cleared from the field from the new broadcasting system of the Cosmic Emerald and Crystal Diamond Rosette Network coming fully online, the interdimensional broadcasting system, the Cosmic Christ. That's how we know truth. Through that network, telepathically, we will just know. But we need to align with that. You feel the truth. Okay, so let go of your mind, seriously. <sighs> so the chariot of our ascension, our Christ and Makaba vehicle is ready for full lift off. This is happening now. Our activated gifts, abilities, plasma light bodies, to the ready. Free, free, free. Ishka, ina ni etadata aina kuratinati. Yeah, and that activation of the return to the dream field is really psychedelic, kind of. Somebody was saying, like an ayahuasca journey. It's very powerful. But again, you know, um, we all, what, what we're going to see now is the ones who have really done the work will reap the rewards. And the ones who thought they maybe have done, but have really been, I don't know, haven't really corrected their blueprints, consciousness, perception of reality to an efficient degree will just have a little bit of a more shaky awakening let's put that that way but what we're really here to return especially the original twin flames is love bliss like we're here to make this as easy as possible if you even look at what has just tried to happen over the last few months we have really like the last three years could have turned out so much worse really i've been shown this again and again we have collapsed so many timelines. This is full collapse of this false matrix, okay? So make it so. Believing is seeing. It helps a lot. The more of us can do this. And again, these activations really bring this online collectively. I know what I'm here for. The more that can, you know, take part, it certainly does help. So thank you for the ones again that do. Uh, and also support me on this journey in all ways, shapes, and forms. So thank you. So again, details are below in the description box if you want to support me or access that call or the membership container or any other call, okay? But let's make, like, as we awaken on that dream field, which I can feel so palpably since yesterday, and I felt a huge shift basically between the masculine and feminine the day before the eclipse, so on the 27th, 28th to the 28th, of basically there's just no more any discord has just been dissolved in this field of clarity of truth and divine love and union true oneness and again the ego just needs to just let go like nobody cares seriously um, so the royal weddings are quantum completing our ascension that's what the original twin flames bring online they're already married at a higher level, so to say, but they bring this fully into the physical. They merge literally um, meta and antimatter. 
universes, heaven and earth, okay, all the opposites. And it's so much about fully merging, integrating with our totality, shadow and light, all of us, multidimensionally, all emotions, everything can be alchemized. It's how you use them. Are you using them for sacred fuel to shift and change your reality? Like anger, some of the anger, you know, I felt in my life really made me change my reality and just stop certain things. That then resolves the anger. That's why we need to go into these things. And I know our heart has been healing a lot. Um, so, you know, the, the feminine, a lot like feeling just the grief, the heartache, of just the split between the masculine and feminine, all of this happening, it just needs to be felt because we're literally going back in time, back to the future of like how all of this even happened to correct what went wrong, heal that heartbreak. And literally a healed heart is an invincible heart. As Rumi says, you have to keep breaking your heart open until it heals. You are breaking your heart open. It's ultimately your expectations. You will remember now that we have imagined this all as one in order to expand the blueprint, the consciousness. It's all great on that level. You just need to let all the way the fuck go now of the past. Seriously, the false Akash or the false, you know, foreign history records are being fully wiped from our memories. Like backed up, but no longer running on repeat in our subconscious, keep recreating the same insanity. Okay, so let it all go. You need to fully let go right now to get there now, literally. As well as you need to correct in order to quantum complete. It's like, how can you quantum complete? I mean, if, if you follow your heart and your higher guidance and you have surrendered already to source of what I've been speaking about, I mean, you should be there now. One way or another, however you feel, you just need to keep letting go and trusting God and, and just Keep trusting, let your soul, your heart guide you because it has your navigational, it's your navigational system and guiding you through this one step after another. What's happening now, one way or another, it's going to be huge. We're going to be on the center stage, especially, I believe, the twin flames. Again, this whole famous thing came online. Anyone who's done, you know, the really good hard work to get us all the way home. And all those, oh, a big message that came through. Uh, during the eclipse call was the hunters become the hunted and the hunted become the hunters so this is a whole switch of the game where again we're just fully hmm, removing all of these invaders as we again all you really need to do is like clear all the fear face it the, the way you do it is by facing it moving through it, feeling it. Again, you need to feel it. Don't just wish it not to be there. You need to feel it, move through it. That's the only way through. Purge it from your system to get out the other end, back to the future. Why did you even get here? Because we fell in fear. That's the illusion. It's a fucking liar. It really is. So you will see, especially the masculine, as he fully transcends all of these mind control programming that has held him back and imprisoned in his own mind, the matrix that all of these fears are illusory. Unless you believe them, that's where all of the self-fulfilling prophecies come in. So you will remember now that everything that's playing out is really just your deepest self-belief systems and expectations. And yeah, many of them are collective, which we, as the cosmic monad, as the core of the core, came to reprogram. I mean, that's what I've been sharing over the last three years, especially a lot of. And again, it's beyond all of this, because we're, we are merging with our multidimensional self it's like really tune in tune in right now and what are you doing on your earth now already fully quantum merge with what you're doing there now and align everything in your life as much as you can with that reality now there's nothing to worry about i know there's nothing to worry about it's here now one way or another god is going to make it happen that's what i know but having true faith, knowing this to be true, is what makes it happen. But again, it's just, and again, it's not even like just aligning by a frequency with the reality we want to be in. And yes, that is true. But you need to get rid of all the frequency bandwidth, all of the deep-seated thought forms, belief systems that are telling you that that's not possible. But now we're there. So we're already ascending, literally. We have ascended and are ascending. This is full lift up time. That's all I see. That's why there's literally nothing to worry about. 
uh, but you're fully aligning your field with the highest truth of the new, like our Kundare, our central column, extended Kundalini currents in full flow, returning eternal life to all life, because as the core of the core does this, this happens to the planetary body and then goes out through the 100 monkey effect. And again, that's what the core, what the original twin flames, counterparts, race of creation carry. And again, we're all part of this, always operate from within the oneness. That's what I would suggest. Okay, because you all, we all have access to the one mind, the one consciousness. And that's what's being reset here. That's the cosmic reset, fully completing right now. Don't wait for nothing. This is final, like everybody just needs to jump all the way in into crystal clarity, so to say. All right. That's what dissolves and lifts the last veil. veil. So everything that's about to unfold, we have trained for, for aeons, for forever, literally, okay? Just notice, put your crown firmly on, know that if you've done the hard work and you have aligned with the highest truth, that all that you could possibly wish for, imagine, and more is going to come true for you one way or another. The power always lies within. Your imagination is your greatest superpower. Okay, all the instruction sets ultimately are inside of you. You have direct access to everything you would want to have access to, okay? So we came to return the cosmic history records that have been fully ignited through our hearts now breaking fully wide open, being fully lit, the last flame, so to say, with our hearts to fully ignite everything. And it's here now. So it's time to fully rise and shine, buttercups, diamond avatars, diamond rainbow suns, okay? All blocks, all obstacles, all interference patterns, all the shit has been fully lifted. Again, the hunt has become the hunted. They've been fully removed. It's done. They're, it's beyond panicky mode, okay? They're just zoop, 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 done. So at this point, quantum merge with a reality where they are no longer there. Literally, they're just gone. However that may play out, okay, that's the quickest way there. Don't worry about how it's going to play out. That's generally the thing with manifestations. But again, we had to clear all the limiting belief systems and thought forms that told us it's not possible. So it's like you understand how all of this came to be, how all of this works, and then you just fully collapse all of this because you remember it's a quantum standing wave function. Sine waves, thought forms, your mind is imagining all of this, all the storylines. As you go deep inside the heart, clear this fully from any false perceptions and projections, unacknowledged shadow aspects that you have deeply suppressed, the mirror becomes very clear. And you know true for what it is. And that's how heaven on earth literally appears in front of our eyes as we remember true. So remember, only opinions, judgments, belief systems, and ego separate us. So let them go fully, completely. Fully. Sunata. Just keep emptying. You know what's real truth? You can feel it, okay? And all of the blocks, obstacles, like all I can see is the masculine won't let anything, anyone, nothing ever again hold him back from living from his heart and his real truth and just living his life how he sees it fits. Okay, and following love. His ultimate, you know, fulfilling the hero's journey, completing this is divine union with the feminine, his true divine feminine. And it should be very clear by now who that really is for the ones this may concern into a leading this process. So, completion energies are very strong right now. Again, as the royal weddings are quantum completing all of this and our hero's journey. And again, your shadow self, again, anyone suppressing anger, just embrace it, learn how to deal with it. As long as we deal with all of this stuff as it comes up and don't suppress it and push it back down, 
there's no ship, shit carpet building up. And it's just like you keep just releasing it and you keep resolving it. You keep realigning your realities, okay? I mean, once we're fully shifted, literally there's nothing to be angry about anymore. That's the whole thing. But to get there, you need to feel all your feelings, feel all the fields. They all hold sacred wisdom that will remind you of what went really wrong, how to correct it. Okay, but then you let go. You know it's not your ultimate truth. Yes, it's not your true emanation. Nobody wants to feel freaking angry. It's not nice, of course. But to get there to eternal love bliss, real truth, you need to go in there and again correct what even makes you angry in order to correct and align our realities. And that dark shadow self, again, that feels anger if someone oversteps the boundaries and comes into your village and pillocks and rapes your or kills your women and children fuck yeah you should be feeling this okay which is what went wrong feel that anger and that primal energy will make you be able to defend yourself and everything that's dear to your heart that's why you need to access the anger but you just need to learn how to alchemize it and remember that ultimately we are winning through a consciousness evolution revolution where we remember we hold the divine blueprints for creation and our imagination is was ultimately is uh, projecting all of this. So it's our thought forms, belief systems that we need to work on, our deepest held expectations. And you need to go into the heartbreak. You need to go into all of these uncomfortable feelings in order to remember what's really true, what has really happened. Because all of these emotions will connect you to timelines, realities, like it's consciousness held in your body that you don't get to realign until there's just truth, there's just harmony, balance, as well as when there are negative feelings, it's because there's something off in our reality. And we go in there, we deal with it as it comes up and out. And there's no big explosion that will ever happen. That's the, that's the issue with if we suppress stuff, especially people who are not suppressing anger and then tell people like me that I have anger issues, for example, or why are you so angry? They will explode. And when they explode at some point, you know, for something usually stupid. And I've been there. I think we all know what that feels like. And then it's explosion and shit on the wall everywhere. And stupid stuff happens. And people get hurt. That's why it's so important to adhere to stuff as it comes up and out. That's my take on that one. Your dark side holds these aspects that will enable you to fully ascend right now. One more thing. Just before you fully ascend just right now the chances for your template to fully reverse are actually the highest okay this is where the fallen angelics have reversed it's around 11 to 13 d levels so you need to be very aware of because the trauma because the, the thing is once you really find out all of the shit all of the crap that has been done to us all of the fuckery your heart could just break and you can go into black heart affliction, close down, think you're sanded because you're in false love bliss and you're not, you know, you're suppressing all of the shit. Because at that level right now, it's like, you know, it's like as if you're breaking fully apart and you just need to keep holding it. Like the, this is where, like, you know, the tests become the, 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 the strongest, so to say, right before the breakthrough. But remember, you have trained for this for many lifetimes. Ultimately, nothing can harm you, your eternal consciousness, constantly redreaming itself. You just need to fully transcend fear. That's the main issue here, okay? This is what has created all of this. This is what makes your heart close down. This is what causes you to project onto other people your own unacknowledged shadow aspects and not just deal with whatever comes up because you're judging what you're feeling and all the conditioning, mind control programming is telling you not to feel that. Most people who suppress are just deeply traumatized. They just can't take anymore. You know, and, and that's how dark, that, that's what we need to understand. And this is how black heart affliction are people closing down, totally disconnect from their emotional body. And that's what a lot of masculines have an issue with, connecting with the emotional body, like understanding why the, the feminine even feels the way they feel. Because they've been told and taught for many generations to disconnect from their emotional body. So it's the hardest, you know, for them or hard air again. And also it's like on this whole quantum level, the way the body works and the, the, the field, did they need to retrieve more? 
But once they really get it, and and once the feminine really gets it, it's like the feminine needs to really get it, especially for the counterparts here. The feminine really needs to get what the masculine does, what he does, or why people even gaslight you. It's because they're gaslighting themselves. You know, telling themselves what they're feeling is not true. So when they see you expressing something that should be a very natural response to what's going on in your environment, in your reality, they blame you and guilt you for it because it's just their programming kicking in. And they've been taught in their upbringing and again in spiritual communities that feeling anger is not appropriate and you shouldn't feel anger in one way, shape, form or another. That sacred anger, it's sacred these primal energies you destroying creating you are all things it's just how you alchemize all of this you can alchemize this into really making change happen you know like just say i don't know some social injustice happened you know this is what creates all the social activists so to say that bring in new laws or you know i don't know make big changes happen that's what you use anger for or whatever and yeah, you need to go into guilt, shame, whatever, if it comes up and not suppress it and then make someone else responsible for triggering that feeling in you. Whatever is there is there. Nobody can trigger you into feeling anything that's not already there, so to say. But we all need to take responsibility and accountability. So for the feminine right now, delete all victim victimizer are programming anywhere where you still have codependent uh, programs running, where you are, I don't know, where you uh, have kind of needy energies or need any masculine to do anything or, you know, no matter what anyone, again, this is like energies and principles, no matter what anyone in your reality does or doesn't do, it's not ever going to affect your perception of self, your self-love and your truth. You just need to emanate truth. As the feminine emanates truth, the heart, the mind will align now. I've asked God, please, just like, because I could make these videos forever and try to explain what's quantum in linear language. Part of the message always gets lost, but it's like, this needs to be transmitted again through this telepathic cosmic emerald crystal diamond rosette network, ultimately. That's what's happening. That's what I'm working on a lot. So I'm just radiating our truth. There is no, I don't need to, do, so if anyone gaslights you or tells you you're wrong, your intuition, again, it's the masculine doing this for the feminine in one way, shape, form or another. If you are questioning it, you are gaslighting yourself. Just don't let them do it. You just sort of send it back. As you don't get defensive anymore, you don't get angry anymore, you understand what they're doing it because they're not standing in truth. They're not aligned with, aligned with their true self. So there's nothing really to be angry about, but you also go like, no, sorry, that's not how it is. That's how it is. Again, you don't need to convince them. You just need to stand in your truth, ultimately just radiate it out. And in that frequency of truth, where there's no interference pattern, no sine wave, no thought pattern in this field, okay, the truth just cancels out any lies right now. And it's just known in the field. You don't need to convince anyone. We all have these conversations going on in our mind. That's a telepathic network, okay? You always have, have access and can resolve any kind of conflict, any kind of disagreement, uh, misalignment, ultimately, in your own DNA blueprint, consciousness field, uh, from within you. That's what's really happening. You're imagining everything. You're imagining everyone in your life. And they're playing out your deepest self expectations, So we are back at the meadow now, remembering that we've been dreaming all of this, all of these crazy storylines of victim victimizer. We fully let go, fully, to start all over again as we fully quantum merge line, however, we have been shown right now how to complete our hero's journey all as one. Because we have fallen all as one, we have fragmented all as one, we heal all as one. Okay? Sunaya Matea, sure. Like, I have had enough, that's for sure. We all need a lifelong holiday. Happy days. Forever. Okay? So the fun is here. Our biggest, wildest dreams are going to be really synchronistically, magically. It's all going to align. Like, all of this interference, all fear, literally, is just dissolving from the field. As the divine counterparts come fully together, because they literally, as they clear any fear, which, again, expresses itself in anger, in 
guilt, shame, blame, all of these things. This is fully is cleared in between them from their field as they carry this Christic core blueprint for the cosmos, it clears for all. And again, we all are part of this and what we do for ourselves, we don't do for all, literally. Okay, so please keep making it happen. Keep being a change you want to see in the world. Don't wait. Don't just, you know what I mean? Everything is just, every thought, every word, every feeling, everything. So all I can see now, and there's literally no other choice. I mean it. Is <laughs> the masculine fully rising now? Not allowing anything, anyone to stop them from them fulfilling the hero's journey, completing all of this, rising like the hero that they are. As all, as the phoenix from the ashes, full rebirth, full cosmic reset. It's here, right fudging now. You better believe it. And even if you don't, it's happening. Anadana shana here. So I'm generally very happy as well as I could still feel a lot of density leaving today. Density leaving today. Again, these like slight interference patterns still in the field. Uh, but we're fully waking up. So this is the full, full awakening. Okay. And it's going to be beautiful, generally. Imagine beautiful, please. Again, we all need to make it happen to quantum collapses fully into all new beginnings. All right. So remember, you're a star made of stardust. You know, from that level, you literally create the elementals, everything to make, literally create universes from, okay? That's what we're going to get to now. So you can create from nothing as you fully burst wide open as the diamond rainbow sun star that you are. So you're everything, you're the whole universe, okay? You're imagining all of this. You're constantly redreaming this. You still need to make it happen. Okay, what you believe, you manifest. Be very conscious what kind of timelines, storylines, narratives you feed out there. What kind of spiritual leaders, teachers you've been, you know, this is a rude awakening in regards to that we've given our trust away or been following people that uh, may not be aligned with the real truth or do not have our best interest at heart. You just need to see it as an experience. That's how I learned. Uh, and that's how you learn to be truly God sovereign and free where you understand because you only don't trust your own intuition and get into these kind of scenarios and connections when you don't realize your own inner power. You're not listening to your intuition. You think that somebody else knows better than you. And you give your power away. But that's how you learn. But you need to be honest to yourself. That's the whole point of all of this, okay? So all the trauma-based mind control programming is being fully purged from the consciousness. And comes into awareness now again as anything purges it comes up and out know it for what it is like a good detox okay we came here literally to fully rise now as the phoenix from the ashes the cosmic dragons need to fully rise right now and own the field own this ascension bring us all the way home it's down to us nobody else out there no little ETs landing we are them we're literally remembering them, our brothers and sisters being here with us already now, our cosmic origins, history records, fully remember the real truth, free of all invasions, fallen timelines. That's what the original twin, twin flames bring back. They hold the Edenic codes, the Edenic body, blueprints, the Paradisian codes that lead us all the way back home as they ignite between them. All through the frequency of true divine love, which dissolves all fears, all illusions of separation and a soul false fear matrix right now. Uta ina ekara ekara ukuru tutu tutu taina shino tutu kida ina. So huge heart mind openings, okay? Also, uh, the lower energy centers fully clearing. Again, our Christ and Makaba coming fully online, our diamond sun god and rainbow plasma light body. The original twin um, templates. Divine blueprints of the cosmic Christ, the hierogamic blueprints. And this is really about also what the original twin flames counterparts bring online or hold is the return of the Lyran royal families. So again, they just hold this core blueprint when in all other star races, any all races stem from and again we're all um hybrids here at this point okay 
We're all mixed up, sozusagen. So, no more victim, victimizers, storylines. We all have been victims, we all have been victimizers, especially between twin flames, whatever you blame or can see wrong in the other, you are doing yourself, I can promise you. I've been there many times and I keep ending up there. <laughs> so you need to really just laugh at yourself, okay? You feel it all to go in there, to transcend it, to understand, ah, this is why I'm doing this. Okay, yeah, okay, I see. Ah, this is where I used to do this or this is why I'm doing this now. And I'm really just angry with parts of myself or still basically in fragmentation and separation until it's all just peace, balance, harmony, happy days, okay? And fairy tales, that's the real reality we are returning here. So we are dreaming our dreams into reality. That's what the dream workers hold, the creators, okay? Remember who you are. Everything can be alchemized. Uh, and again, I feel since the 27th, 28th that all this conflict, all this anger is just fully dissolving the field, especially between our divine counterparts. And again, what I speak of, this is what's happening from within the core of the core and then goes out to all, so to say. Okay, so it's like, don't worry, it's going to happen. But you also need to make it happen and you need to align with this, which is why I share what I share. And again, the calls, my group calls and activations are very powerful to help you align with that. Okay, but you still need to do the work. Nobody can do this for you. So um, every emotion, every aspect of self is to be alchemized, not suppressed, oppressed, denied, shamed, guilted, gaslit, ostracized, so rejected, abandoned. Okay, that's how this happens. This is how you heal these wounds from deep within you. As you accept, embrace all parts of you, they all hold gold. They're literally like, as you fully embrace your anger, you return all of your power. And then any anger, before you even feel it, it's just going to be transmuted into pure change-making elixir. Okay? So use those lower negative emotions to break all the way through out of the limiting programming. Because once you really know what really happened, there's a lot to be angry about. All right? Own it. Just don't use it to destroy. Well, you want to destroy the false matrix, okay? So there's literally nothing to hold on to here but illusions. Nothing has been lost. Everything has been transmuted. Nobody dies here. Remember the real truth. Remember, this is not really real. Really, really, from deep within, remember. Back on the dream field, we remember we've been dreaming all of this. We are awakening from the dream within the dream now. And we dream all new realities, or rather, as we fully surrender, allow God to take over. We know how to bring this all to its full quantum completion, all as one. Okay, so let's do this. And let's have fun, because that's what's up now. As all of this remaining density leaves, okay? As we heal all of our deepest wounds and traumas. I'm just having a look at my notes. Because that's the thing also, you know, it's like when you suppress these parts of you, you literally, this is how you give your power away. Because again, they hold pure power. They're all parts of you. Um, there's also a difference, and I spoke about this more in a group call, a difference between dark and shadow self, so masculine and feminine, and the false self. And again, I wouldn't cate categorize this whatsoever. It's the same as your ego or whatever, you know, your sense of self is the one who puts, you know, boundaries in, share, uh, in place and, you know, says no to things or people um, in order to protect your energy, your sacred life force, um, your field, for example. Um, if you are just within the oneness and don't have any sense of those boundaries, it's like, you know, you just keep letting people take advantage of you, you know, doing whatever they want, really, and you keep excusing them and keep taking them back. I mean, this is how abusive relationships, you know, have been working, no? So we need to stop this in all ways, shapes and forms. As you say no to the distorted aspects within and around you, then everything's a mirror and exercise, mirroring, like mirrors, projections of one another. As you go deeper and deeper into the heart, into real truth arising from within you, the mirror becomes clearer and clearer, really. 
and this will fully on your and it's here now. So let's do this all together as one, okay, truly. Let go of the monkey mind. The false programming, which is really all the false ego, as most understand it, is all about. It's just a set of algorithms, programs, okay? Your real true self is what we, what we have been uh, excavating, and it's here now. And it's what is returning. The one, you know, the one cosmic Christ, the diamond avatar, like the one true self, the one true eternal authentic self, as well as we have our own very unique version of that expression. Okay, it's what has fully returned now. And it is that original blueprint, fully ignited. It's a new blueprint. Okay, not just returning to our original divine source goals and blueprints, but having expanded it. This is what all of this is about. This is the big picture that heals all. Full debt forgiveness. No more victim victimizers. There's just, ah, you get why this has all happened. As all as one. The great awakening is here. The great shift. We have been waiting and working towards this for forever. Since the beginning of time, so to say. Okay, to come all the way back home. Right to, be, right, to the beginning. Back to the start. And dream all new free worlds into being. Okay, from the now fully opening sacred crystal hearts. Bursting wide open right now. Okay, just fully surrender. And yeah, as for Halloween, just one more thing. Next to the group call we'll be doing in my membership container, if we're still here. Um, again, this is a time when a veil is the thinnest. Use it to your advantage. Okay, they are ancient. Um, it's it's how you make anything. It's the way it's Christmas. Christmas is like the huge, like huge downloads, huge, huge expansion, DNA upgrades always usually, you know. So yeah, I don't like the traditional meaning of it usually, but it's like it's what you take out of it as well and how you make it. Um, and there's just nothing they have left. Notice, okay. Feed the positive. Feed the removal of the veil. Let it fully dissolve. Keep anchoring frequency into the grids. It's you aligning with real truth. You know, anchoring frequencies, anchoring consciousness, and that means real truth. That's what sets us all free. And love is truth. So remember, uh, remember how you finished it. We've already been here. Okay, it's a big deja vu. And let's just remember. Where there's love, there's a way. You do need to have it figured out and all into place to make it happen. You just need to make the jumps and the path will appear. It's all you know. Sunati, Shunata, Aina, Karata, Sunai. So thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone, for your support. Like, share, subscribe, comment. Uh, if you want to access the call or memberships or um, like to support my channel with a donation, thank you so much. Thank you for all and everything. You came here to return. Remember what's really real right now, okay? And return that. That's what we came here for. Literally, basically, no matter what the cost, I always say within reason. <laughs> uh, and that's the way debatable so you really need to get out of your comfort zones right now and jump all the way in the comfort zones only exist within 3d all i know is there's literally nothing to worry about um and everything will be shown to us now we will be propelled to fame so to say i keep getting that i mean huge abundance keeps coming up um i mean amazing miracles adventures Consciousness expansion experiences are here now. So fully claim this, okay? Make dreams become real again. You're the ancient sacred guardians and dream walkers, dream keepers, dream weavers who have created all of this. The original twin flames, guardians, races, the true ascended masters fully returned, okay? That's what we came here for, to complete all of this, all as one. Remember who you are, fully rise now. The remembering is coming online fully now. And everything aligns and completes. All blocks, all hindrances, all done with. 
as I finished yesterday's call with <laughs> no ifs, no buts, no coconuts. Okay, so let's make this freaking happen. No more excuses, no more bullshit. Let's all the way fucking rise. All right. This is no fucking fairy tale. Or rather it is. It's real fucking life. So let's make dreams real from deep within. The film strip to our realities literally is encoded within our DNA. Okay. As this fully ignites for the frequency of true divine love. And it doesn't look like they've taught us or many sources have sold us. Uh, it needs to be experienced from deep within and it keeps coming back to the self, true divine self-love. And then you automatically love all of life everywhere. There's just true divine harmony, balance, peace. Okay. You just know truth and you don't need to defend it anymore. You're not going to be gaslit anymore. You're just going to stand and radiate your truth. And that just dissolves all the false lies. And it's just like, you don't need to convince them anymore. They will just know. Because it's just the frequency you send out. And in that field, all lies fully dissolve. So as we are fully aligned with truth, all the lies dissolve in the field. These are sine waves. It's based on thought forms and belief systems. That's what we hold in our DNA, in our consciousness. Okay. So again, my, um, especially the light language activations really help activate that, so to say. Uh, that one was really powerful. So if you like to access it, details are below. Keep activating it from deep within. Enjoy nature. We really just relax. Know it's all here now. Keep opening your heart. Keep following it. It's your soul speaking through you. It's your access to source. Okay. And you need to keep honing that connection. It's literally what makes you invincible, fearless, timeless, as you fully remember yourself as to God self and that you came here to create reality. Not just wait for it to happen or that it's an outside in event. It's an inside out event. So first of all, you come to divine union within, wholeness, true divine love, and then you project it out and everything will come into place. Like I was also asking the other day, it's like, literally, what have I done wrong to end up in this kind of situation reality? Like from the perspective of, I don't have my daughter living with me. I'm not with my beloved. It's like the living situation is not great. Like the, the very things I'm here to anchor, it's like they did the hardest, hardest, most challenging to achieve. And that's what it always is. And I was just assured, no, it's not this. Like we have been fucked with so much. We had all of these assholes put all of the collective karma on our shoulders. We had so much black magic interfering with our lives. Like everyone has been weaponized against me, you know? especially those closest to me through when you know again we all had this like when we're unconscious you know negative energies that collective unconscious that has kind of like a consciousness of its own so to say fully going down the toilet right now which is false ego self um then you know kind of takes over people that's when you know we sometimes feel like as if people are possessed it's not really possessed it's just that negative energies work through them which ultimately comes from them being in fear so that's the whole thing. When we not, no longer are in fear, they cannot get to us. They starve. This is quantum. As the cosmic monad fully transcends all of this false fear, this interfering frequency from the broadcasting system on new earth already, okay? They just, they just don't exist anymore. It's you quantum leaping to the reality where they're all gone. Okay, all those who have committed grave crimes against humanity have been fully expelled as you fully break through any remaining fears, jump all the way in what your heart and soul is telling you and speak your truth in every now moment. Never afraid again. That's how the illusion, the veils, fully, completely dissolve for good. And it's here now. That's all I see. I leave you with that. Hallelujah. Notice, embrace this, be this. Again, take what resonates, leave the rest. Know your own truth about, above all else. Make up your own mind, but let your heart guide this. That would be my suggestion. Uh, I know it has led us all the way back home. Okay. So the cosmic rosette, fully igniting from within us all, fully igniting our cosmic remembrance, true history records, origins, the real truth, setting everyone free, returning heaven on earth, here right now, it's here now, we are ascending, it's all here now. This is it. 
ready for full takeoff. Now let's make it so. Usha hina siki nukuna aina takarati. Choose wisely, okay? What you believe to be true. All right. So much love, so many blessings. I see you. Bye bye bye.